Well, crime in the Mid-South continues to run rampant with no clear end or decline in sight. Homicide numbers are the highest they've ever been. However, Memphis lovers are hoping to turn all that around. CW30 Zaria Oates tells us how Memphis artists are coming together to show Memphians the hope they have for the city. It starts with music. On the beat. However, the goal of Memphis Artists United is bigger than a record label. When you wake up in the morning and you see violence on TV all the time, we're just trying to show there is some positivity in the city. Radio host Kavon J. Braden, educator and artist Ty Boyland, and musician Al Capone. And it's going to take everybody around the table to, be, to really make an impact. They're working hard to change the Bluff City's negative narrative as crime continues to rise. It's having a great effect, uh, especially with starting conversations with young people. To be able to talk to young people about this and have them engaged in the, and included in the conversation means a lot. The video highlights how violence impacts everybody. One of my son, his friend, just got killed not too long ago. 14 year old young guy made the wrong decision, got in a stolen car, joy riding, and end up having a wreck and got killed. So reaching people who want to take action is crucial. Well, maybe you have a representative from Whitehaven, a representative from Frazier, a representative from wherever, and all sit down at the table at one time and discuss and talk about different solutions. That's what we're about, being involved. We're just using the music to, to get the message out. Memphis Artists United has plans to create a new music video in the spring that will empower women. They'll have students from a local high school helping to get their message across the city and hopefully build more community initiatives along the way.